Hi grade ones. We're looking at the first problem in the worksheet that I posted today. So let's go over the instructions together. Each row or column adds to 10. What could go in the boxes? So we're trying to solve for each row. Now rows go this direction and each column. Columns go up and down. So let's start here. We want this box and this box too equal 10. We know that this box is already 7. So 10 minus 7 means that this box has to be 3. Now you have a couple of options. You can draw the number 3. You could draw me three objects. You could give me a tally of 3. It doesn't matter as long as I can see what number it is. So we've solved that row. Let's go to this column. So we're going to use the 7 again. This we're going to fill in ourselves. So 7, we're not sure. And then we have one single dot in there. So that will be the number 1. So 7 plus 1 equals 8. And we know that all three of these needs to equal 10. So 10 minus 8 equals 2. So this box is going to be 2. And again, fill it in any of those ways. And you don't have to do all of them. I'm just showing different options. And now that column is solved. And we'll continue. We'll do this row and then this column. And when we do this column, that will solve the final row. So you'll have, uh, I think, five questions leading up to 10, and then there are two challenges that are adding up to 20.